Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is our 12th video for Django e-commerce website. And in this video, we will do some necessary necessary changes for our product section. I have added the image field in my product model, but we need to add the image field in the product attribute because in the product attribute we have size and color so that we will add image field in this product attribute so that we can easily identify the image with the colors like uh, we will add the uh, we will add the image for the color green we will add the image for the color black for the same product so this change we will do and we will also fetch the very first product very first product attribute in the display section like in our uh, home page in the product list page in the product detail page so we will do these changes in this video okay so let's start to do this so first thing we will do we will move this image field we will move this image field from our product model to our product attribute model okay i will add this null i will add this null true because i have already data i have already added the data product attribute data in the database so that i need to add the null true so that it will automatically add the null for the previous values okay now what we will do we will stop the server and manage dot py make migration make migrations okay and then what we will do py manage dot py migrate okay now we will run the server run the server <clears throat> okay so we have added the image uh, in the product attribute field now we will add the images for this for these attributes okay so we will click on this and add the images i will add the random images you can set the uh, you can add the images for a specific product you can add this uh, as a proper data but i am adding the random images okay so this is three <coughs> and save this is five and uh, this save four this save okay so we have added the images now we need to show the images in the list display so what we will do for this we will i have already we have already created this functionality for our uh, category uh, for our brand so i will copy this uh, same functionality in the product attribute so we will copy here okay sorry <clears throat> now we need to add this uh, model function in the admin.py file so here we will add we have an image tag so here we will add the image tag okay uh, i have added this so we don't need to migrate this because this is method and if you are creating new field then you have to run the migration command now we will refresh this and we have our images for the uh, images for the product attributes okay so uh, one thing more we need to do i will i will move this image tag from last to second okay now we will refresh this so we have in the second position we have our images now what we need to do if you refresh this page we have a uh, we don't have any it is not showing the images because uh, we are we were fetching the images from our product model now we need to fetch the images from the attribute but attri but now we have a one product has many attributes so that we need to fetch the first attribute we need to fetch the first attribute row for the for that product okay so actually we are doing the reverse relationship of the foreign key so what we need to do i will go to the index page i will open the index page uh, here and now in the <clears throat> now in this loop what we will do in the product section we will search product 
attribute set from this set i will fetch first and from first i will fetch image okay so we will refresh this so here we have the image product 2 for the product 2 we have a product uh, this image now let's verify this so we have a product 2 and this image we have a we have a three attribute for the product one so let's uh, check this so we have a uh, this image this is steel milton image it is showing the fourth image it means it is showing the first image if you see four four six seven these three images are these three ids for the product but we are uh, we are fetching the only first so that it is showing the fourth image okay now so this is the uh, this is the code this is the syntax to fetching the reverse relationship uh, reverse foreign relationship from the data okay now we will uh, save similar thing we will apply for the product list and the product detail so we will go to the product list page and here what we will do in the image section we will apply here so okay so we need to okay will refresh this now we will go to the home page and here you can see we have our images and these images are comes these images are coming from the product attribute and these are the first first attribute images okay now we will go to the uh, go to the detail page and in the detail we need to show here so we will open the detail page <clears throat> and i will upload whole the what i am uploading whole the code whole the project on the github so that you can download the whole uh, source code from my github.com slash code artisan app i have given the link in the description okay so you can download and uh, run this uh, project on your system now here similar now here we will do the similar thing so this will be data okay and uh, we are using the zoom we are using the zoom functionality so here we will do this so refresh this so we have a image this okay so this is a tupperware bottle and this is the image so we have a image and these are okay now one thing more we need to fetch the price of the first attribute because the price uh, price uh, this price varies uh, with the uh, with the color and size so that we need to fetch the price also so this price will be the first attribute from the first attribute so in the detail what we will do here we will copy this you can also put this in a variable in your view and fetch uh, from the view okay so here we will add this price okay so refresh this so this price is 50 okay so we will change the uh, we will we need uh, i think we need we also need to add the price uh, in the all sections like uh, home page uh, in the product list page we will also you can you can update the all pages where we are showing the product images where we are showing the title and all the things okay so when we click on this we have a price and we have a color and sizes color and sizes are we have already defined that how we are uh, uh how this is coming from the product attributes okay now we need to add the price section okay let's uh, change the product from the this uh, uh this is the category list product so we also need to refresh this we also need to update this page also i will also open the brand product list so here uh, what we will do okay so we will uh, copy this and uh, we will uh, paste it here so, and this will be product okay so this will be product now we, in the product in the brand we will do this we will do the similar thing okay so refresh this so this is the category product list and this is the brand product list if you click on this click on this then this is the brand product list okay so these are the things that how we can fetch the related table only first row in direct directly in the template you can also define in your view okay so this is the different method there this is the method where we can directly get the data in the template okay so <clears throat> in the next section we will, uh, we will also in the next video we will also define some 
more changes and we will also continue this uh, project okay and i will try to upload uh, upload this video as soon as quickly so thanks for watching this video if you have not subscribed my channel then please subscribe and please like this video share this video thank you thank you so much and i have all i have uploaded i am uploading all the code on the github.com slash code that is an app so please uh, download the source code from that and uh, read that and learn and practice more and more you will learn lots of things from uh, lots of things about the django okay so again thank you thank you so much